Let's talk about pagination in React. Basically, pagination is used to display data on different pages. So I created one simple application of crypto coin symbol and price. This data comes from API of CoinGecko and it will send details about 100 crypto coins. So in use effect, I fetch data from API using Axios and then I store that data in this state variable. Next, I created one component called crypto list for displaying list of all cards. And in this card component, we are displaying data of each coin, which is very basic. If you want to know how to create that, then comment below. Now first, we are going to create one state variable and give it a name current page and initial value to 1. Let's add another state variable for post per page. And here I pass 8 because I just want to display two rows on each page. You can pass any number depends on your styles. So now, first of all, we have to remove this other post from our page. So how we can do this? Let me explain you the logic. So imagine we are on second page and we want 10 posts per page. So which post will display on this page? Right, it's 11 to 20. So in JavaScript, we have one array method called slice, which basically cuts array using starting index and last index. For example, here we have coins data dot slice. Now this slice takes two parameter, starting index and last index. So to display 11 to 20 post, we have to pass here 10 and 20. Here 10 is first index and 20 is the last index. So if somehow we get first index and last index, then we can cut out other data which we don't want to show. It's very simple. Let me show you. So we create one variable for last post index. So last post is current page into post per page. In our example, current page is 2 and post per page is 10. So we get 20. Now we create one more variable for first post index. So first post is last post index minus post per page. Example, last post index is 20 and post per page is 10. So we get 10. Simple as that. Now we will hide all other posts which we don't want to display. So coins data dot slice and we pass first post index and last post index. Now let's store this data in variable called current post. So instead of displaying all data, we passed current post in the crypto list component. Save the changes and take a look. See, we get only current post. Now if I change the current page number to 3, then we get other post. So it's working. Now we just need the page numbers which we want to display. So page numbers are related on our data. If we have only 16 post and we display 8 post per page, then we want only two pages. So let's create a new component called pagination.js and I write RAFCE for React Boilerplate. And we want here arrays of page numbers. And for now, I pass empty array. Now we want to fill this array with page numbers. So we write integer i equals to 1. Next we write i laser equals to total post divided by post per page and at last i plus plus. Let's push this i in this array. So type pages dot push and pass i here. So if our total post are 100 and post per page is 10, then we get 10 pages. But if we have total post 25 and post per page is 10, then 25 divided by 10, which is 2.5. So we get only two page. That's not we want, right? So for that, we have one method in JavaScript called math.seal, which will round it up to the nearest integer, which means if we pass here 2.05, then it returns three. So we wrap this equation with this math.seal method. Now first, 
include pagination component and pass here total post equals to coins data dot length and post per page equals to post per page. Now back to pagination component and we can destructure props total post and post per page. Now let's display the page numbers. So in curly brackets pages dot map and pass arrow function and we get parameters called page which is current element and index. Now return button and pass key equals to index and display current page number. Now save the changes and take a look and we get error. Ok sorry I add here let i equals to 1. Save it and take a look. See we get our page numbers. Now I add some styles for making these buttons look good. You can get these styles from my github repository. Link is down in the description. Now we have to change current page when we click on button. So in button we add on click arrow function and write set current page to page. So this page is current page number. Now let's add set current post in props and in app component we pass set current post equals to set current post. Now save the both files and take a look. See we get current page data. Now in addition we can give our current page button a different style. So in this button we add class name equals to in curly brackets we add condition page double equals to current page. If it's true then add active class else empty. Now let's add this current page in props and in pagination we pass current page equals to current page. Save the file and also save this. Now in your CSS file you can add styles for that. I already add the styles here. Now take a look. See we get this active current page. So I hope you learn pagination in react. If you have some doubts you can ask me in the comment section. So till then goodbye and have a nice day.